Cyclone Joanina is intensifying this morning. It's now a Category 2 on the Saffir Simpson scale with Force 13 estimated winds of 105 miles an hour and a pressure of 957 millibars. That's near 170 kilometers per hour. At 6am local time in Mauritius, on the CDPS scale, it remains a Stage 7. Catastrophic damage is possible if the storm was to make landfall, or close to it, on the island of Rodrigues. Stage 7, catastrophic. The current location of the storm right now puts it here. You can see the wind field is pretty uniform, actually. Uh, 17.3 south, 62.1 degrees east. That's as of 6 a.m. March 25th. It's 161 miles southeast southeast of St. Brandon, 186 miles northwest of Rodrigues, and 1698 miles from Isle Amsterdam, way down there to the south. The storm will, of course, be post-tropical by the time it gets there, if it was to go anywhere near. A Class 2 warning remains in effect for Rodrigues this morning and that could be upgraded later on in the day or tomorrow as the storm draws ever nearer. Its movement hasn't been particularly quick in the last few hours so we're still on an uneasy position at the minute. So this is what we're expecting throughout today according to the GFS model. Tuesday evening is probably going to be the time when the storm arrives in Rodrigues and by Wednesday morning it will be passing close by and then clearing by the later part of the day and then by Thursday it should be well away from the island of Rodrigues leaving just a little bit of residual rainfall behind it. There could be over 400 millimeters of rain on the island of Rodrigues that's if the storm doesn't even make a landfall. Of course if it did make a landfall it could have very strong winds exceeding 200 kilometers per hour with even higher gusts. Sea surface temperatures are definitely warm enough for such a solution. 28 degrees Celsius right now, even warmer further west, uh, but at the minute the storm is travelling over slightly cooling waters and that will continue over the next few days. So this is what we're looking at here, the storm passing just to the east of the island. It could still get that hurricane force eye wall and that could deliver winds in excess of 160 km per hour winds. That's if it doesn't strengthen any more from its current position. But the way it's going, it's probably going to go the way of many other storms and reach category 4 status, which is what many storms have done this year in the southwest Indian Ocean. We'll see about that. In any case, it's a strong storm. Chance of tropical storm force winds, 37% at St. Brandon, decreasing, 97% now on the island of Rodrigues. Tropical storm force winds pretty much assured, and preparations should be completed for those conditions or worse. Here's what the models are saying. Uh, none of them actually calling for Category 4 now, uh, but the way the storm's been strengthening wouldn't be a surprise. They're calling for Category 3, though, high end at that, and so is the JTWC. Wind shear might stop the storm in its tracks. It is expected to start increasing today and uh, further increasing tomorrow and beyond. Uh, its track forecast is pretty clear. It just really depends how far from Rodrigues the storm ends up and it could be fine margins yet again this season for this storm. Rodrigues is visible to the south of the image there, just in the southern band of the storm. Uh, the centre of the storm is looking pretty good, the eye starting to come out a little bit more and we could be seeing further strengthening later today. Um, it really depends if that eye wall can close off fully, if it hasn't done so already and whether that eye can establish some depth to it. But it's really got some decent structure in those latest frames which wouldn't surprise me if more strengthening <coughs> is on the way. We'll have more updates on this storm later on, the next update 7pm Mauritius time. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo a Cyclo Maurice on Facebook. <laughs>